Yes, it was me. For everyone, it was shocking. We thought he will at least say forgive me to those people whom he killed. He showed no, absolutely no remorse. But is the man who claims to have killed more than 60 people sane? An insane person cannot realize the consequences of his actions. But here the subject's actions were purposeful and consistent, and he was aware of what he was doing. That is why the expert commission came to the conclusion that he was sane. After a trial lasting six weeks, the jury takes less than three hours to return a unanimous verdict. And on Monday, October the 29th, 2007, Judge Vladimir Usov pronounces sentence. The Russian state and the chief prosecutor are proud of the result. Pichushkin will spend the rest of his life behind bars. The first 15 years will be in solitary confinement. For Nikolai Fomin, the sentence provides justice for the cruel death of his son, Vladimir. There is no punishment higher than life imprisonment. This is as much as you can get. So he will stay in jail for life. Despite the guilty verdict, Vladimir Fomin's body has never been recovered a fact that provides some small solace for his family. This is hope. This is hope. If there is no body, the person may be alive. Same as during World War II. People who got the notice about a person gone missing, they kept waiting for 40 or 50 years. What if we are lucky? He'll come back as a millionaire from somewhere. Maybe America. Convicting Petrushkin had taken nine months' strenuous work. Очень долго. It had been very hard and stressful, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, an awful lot of work. And I shall never forget it. Well, for me it was the most serious case in my career. I have faced serial killers before, but none of them was such a cruel and ruthless murderer as Pichushkin. Although he still claims to have killed more than 60, the police have never found all the bodies. The court had the evidence to convict him of the murder of 48 people. It was an astonishing figure. I'd never interviewed a serial killer with so many victims before, but I had had similar cases. The only difference in this case was that it attracted a lot of public attention. It shook the world. I think he killed so many people because he just, he just liked to, to kill. Pichushkin is quite an unusual serial killer. He is a hunter, a typical hunter, and his only motivation was to kill. There was no other motive, whatever else we might have thought. <laughs> 